Greetings to all, my name is Gurai and welcome to another Eldritch Moon spoiler video. Now this time I gotta be a bit more quiet cause there's people sleeping. It's pretty late. So the first spoiler is Tree of Perdition, which is a 013 plant creature for 3 generic and blue. It has Defender and it taps to exchange target opponent's life total with Tree of Perdition's toughness. Now this is a reprint, but it's a good reprint. Remember Triskai Decaphobia? Yup, Tree of Perdition does too. So it's it's a pretty good card by itself. It's a 013. And it has a pretty sweet effect, combos with Triskai Decaphobia, so it's a great card. Also for limited, probably we'll see standard play only in some Triskai Decaphobia gimmick decks. Then we have a card called Graft Stapler, which is an equipment for one generic, and equipped creature gets plus 3 plus 3, but whenever it attacks, it doesn't untap during its controller's next untap step. And whenever it becomes unequipped from a creature, sacrifice that creature. And you can equip it for 2 mana. Now, this is really interesting with Vigilance. And that's it basically. So, I don't think this card is good enough to see actual play. But maybe people will find a way to put it in like a Vigilance deck or something, where it doesn't really have a downside, but even then, I don't think so. In Limited, this card is meh. Next up is Curious Homunculus, which is generic blue for a 1-1 homunculus creature. It taps to add colorless to your mana pool, but you can only spend it to cast an instant or sorcery spell. At the beginning of your upkeep, if there are 3 or more instants and or sorcery cards in your graveyard, transform it. And it becomes a Voracious Reader, which is a 3-4 Eldrazi Homunculus, with prowess and instants and sorceries you, you cast costs 1 less to cast. So basically it's a Goblin Electromancer, but different. So I think this card is really good. It's a three. Ma it's a two mana, three four prowess, with a great effect. Obviously, it won't always be that, but the front side isn't that bad. So yeah, this might actually see play in standard, or even outside of standard. But I don't think so. In limited. You would probably play this card if you played a lot of instants and sorceries. Then we have Bloodhall Priest, which is a 4-4 creature vampire cleric for 2 generic, 1 black, 1 red. Whenever it enters the battlefield or attacks, if you have no cards in hand, it deals 2 damage to target creature or player. And it has a mana cost of 3. Yeah, it's a good card. I think it's exactly what vampires need, because vampire decks tend to run, of the, run out of cards really quickly by turn 3-4, and this is a way to make use of that. So great card, it might make standard vampires viable. In limited, this card is good, it's a 4 mana 4-4 four, four with upside and mana, so great. Next up is Giza and Geralf, which is a 4-4 legendary creature human wizard for 2 generic and 1 blue and black. When it enters the battlefield, put the top 4 cards of your library into your graveyard. During each of your turns, you may cast a zombie spell, zombie creature card from your graveyard. It's kind of underwhelming. So, Giza and Geralf, they're siblings, they're they have been united, there's a whole story around them, and this is kind of an underwhelming card for those legendaries. 
And I'm not even sure if this card is good in limited. I mean, it it will probably see play in Commander. In other constructed formats, no. Limited? Probably not, unless you have a lot of zombies. Haunted Dead is a 2-2 zombie creature for 3 generic and black. When it enters the battlefield, you get a 1-1 white spirit with flying. And for 1 generic 1 black, you can discard 2 cards to return it from your graveyard to the battlefield tapped. Good card for limited. It's a 2-2 and a 1-1 flying. And you can enable madness with it. And you can get a 1-1 white spirit creature token with flying on, on the battlefield at instant speed. Not too shabby. So, great card for limited. Not for anything else. Ingenious Scab is a 2-3 zombie horror creature for 2 generic 1 blue. It has prowess and for blue you can give it plus 1 minus 1 until end of turn. Great card for limited! Outside of that, no. But, in limited, this has lots of uses. It's a varied power and toughness creature, which is always great. When it gets blocked, you can pump it, or make it bigger to kill its blocker. When it doesn't get blocked, you can deal more damage. Or when it blocks, you can like, keep it a 2-3 or something. It has lots of different uses and it has prowess. So, for, especially for a common, really strong card. Outside of limited, no. Identity Thief is 2 generic, 2 blue for a 0-3 shapeshifter creature. Whenever it attacks, you may exile another target non-token creature. If you do, it becomes a copy of that creature until on a turn and return the exiled card to the battlefield under its owner's control at the beginning of your next end step. This has a lot of uses. It's just a 0-3, yeah, but when it attacks you can temporarily disable a blocker, completely unmeld melded creatures, and deal a lot of damage. So. It's a lot of good stuff. This card, obviously, it's gonna be too slow for constructed, but, or obviously commander, everything's good in commander, I'm just not, not even gonna mention that anymore. It's insanely good and limited. Really. It just works. Soul Separator is 3 generic for an artifact. You can pay 5 and tap it to sac sacrifice it and exile target creature card from your graveyard. Then you get a token on the battlefield that's a copy of that card, except it's a 1-1, one, one, it's a spirit in addition to its other types and has flying. And you get a black zombie creature token on the battlefield with power equal to that card power and, equal, and toughness equal to that card's toughness. Amazing flavor! But... Too slow for anything else. I mean, yeah, it's pretty fun, it has some good uses, but not good enough. So, probably not even good for limited. Elder Deep Fiend is a generic for a 5 6 creature Eldrazi Octopus with Flash and Emerge for 5 generic double blue, when you cast it, tap up to 4 target permanents. Amazing card in limited. This will be a bomb in limited, because you can flash it in on the opponent's turn, maybe before they attack, tap a bunch of permanents, maybe flash it in in their upkeep, and tap all their lands before they can use it in their main phases. Or tap 4 lands before they can use their lands in their main phases and get a 5-6. So, great and limited. Not for anything outside limited. Kissick Prowler is one green for a 2-1 werewolf horror creature. And for 5 mana you can transform it 
to become Sinew Sprinter, which is a 4-4 Eldrazi Werewolf that can be blocked by more than one creature. If it was only the front side, I'd play this in Unlimited. But it also has the back side, so I guess it's better late game. Yeah, if, if you get this in Limited, it's good outside of Limited. Probably won't see play. Vilden Pack Outcast is 4 generic, 1 red for a 4 4 creature well, werewolf horror. It has trample, and for red, it gets plus 1 plus 0 until end of turn. And for 7 mana, you can transform it to become Drone Pack Kindred. It's a 5 7 trample, and for 1 generic, it can get plus 1 plus 0 until end of turn, so it's fire breathing. Yes, please, this is really amazing Unlimited. A 4-4 Trample for 5? Good Unlimited? With, with a good bread effect? Sure. With upside late game? Yes, please. Give it all. It's a great common. You would pick this early in draft. Again, not good for anything except for Unlimited. Smoldering Werewolf? is a 3-2 werewolf horror for 2 generic 2 red and when it enters the battlefield it deals 1 damage to each of up to 3 target creatures and that's pretty good and for 6 mana you can transform it to become erupting dreadwolf which is a 6-4 eldrazi werewolf and whenever it attacks it deals 2 damage to target creature or player sure it's a Mediocre card. It's not good, it's not bad, it's okay. For limited. Outside of limited, it's terrible. And the last spoiler of the day is Foldaren Paria, which is a 3 3 creature vampire horror for 3 generic and 2 black. It has flying, and you can sacrifice 3 other creatures to transform it. And it has madness for 3 black. Then it becomes Abolisher of Bloodlines, which is a 6-5 Eldrazi Vampire with flying. When it transforms into Abolisher of Bloodlines, target opponent's x3 creatures. First off, this is amazing and limited. Really, a 3-3 flying for possibly cheap or for 5 is already okay with upside to sacrifice 3 bad creatures and make the 6-5 flying and make your opponent sacrifice three creatures. This might see standard play, but the only downside is that it's a 6-5 on the backside, which means it ties to Lightning Axe, which makes it a lot worse. Again, it's a limited bomb. So that does it for the spoilers of the day, there were some good limited bombs in there, not that much for standard or other constructed formats, but that's okay, we can live with that. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did, and I will see you in the next one, bye!